every, every other week, uh, like on the other side, is <laughs> Street, <laughs> when Street Fighter Cafe Waypoint. When does not run Street Fighter 6, which is round 4, shout out to me. Um, <laughs> they, they run it here at Bob's. So uh, this coming up Monday, check out Street Fighter 6 is here as well on Monday. And the week after, come play Street Fighter 6 at Waypoint. In the meantime, though, there is no Street Fighter 6 on this screen as we have a just a Xeno Weekly's classic. This is this is like coming home every week. We got John Dill winners finals. I mean, this is like your mom finally saying we have uh, we have Dill and John numbers at home and actually having Dill and John yeah. numbers at home. It's nice. Your mom loves you. Go give her a call. Yeah, <laughs> it's J it's John Dill at home, but it's like home cooked. This is home cooked uh, home Smash cooked Brothers. Smash. That's so a home cooked John arm rotor. Yeah. Getting kind of roasted and toasted. Mm, how do you how do you like your toast? Crispy or extra crispy? Would you burn your toast? I like to burn my toast. I like those carcinogens. All right, Dill with a stock lead right now, getting 42% extra credit already, utilizing this small battlefield center stage. Such a good... Nice you know, roll in there. Forward tilt, yeah. not going to quite die, because they don't have deep breathing on. By the way, man, that music is a little loud, but... It is. <laughs> don't make it that was not. That was not intentional. I promise you that was not intentional. I was like, oh, it's not loud enough? Okay! <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all good. Appreciate you. <laughs> Listen, the tech, the Tekken soundtrack, it's a bomb. Does does rule, but I, I could die to this. Oh, oh my god! Sean is the rare betrayal by the soccer ball. <laughs> Whoa, that was an odd interaction. Ooh, John looking for a kind of greedy edge guard, kind of uncharacteristic, honestly, but. Yeah, Dill was just teasing them with just like floating off that stage. He's like, come on, come on, I know you want to do it. Yeah. Good dash attack, though. Finally getting one on the board. Yep. Oh, this is dangerous. All these routes have been so good at just Edgarding tonight. I don't know what's going on. It must be something in the oil. Yeah, <laughs> something in the oil. All right. They said they upgraded to that uh, premium unleaded. John fighting his way out of the corner with the neutral air. Getting some damage on the board and the anti-air as well. John is starting to find his footing here in this game one. Kind of a similar story to what we saw um, versus Obwan earlier, where it looked like Obwan had the had the lead in game one. It looked it just looked like Obwan's game to win. Against John, you're never in the lead. Absolutely. That's I feel like what makes John such a such a good player is just kind of the way he's able to plant his feet mentally and just never give up. Okay, right. but how are they gonna make it back from this? Ooh, John right, they got their double jump. The jump. You see, that's why you save your jump, folks. You never know when you're gonna need it. Soccer ball coming through, making some space for John at the ledge. He does have full Sun Sal on deck. Kind of an awkward air dodge there from John. Is still able to make it back to the ledge though. John's gotta find this kill. A raw, like, strong hit neutral air will absolutely no, be taking it. Grab. And the tombstone will be yeah. as well. Still a sigh of relief as they go for their water. Yeah. I mean, even with a full stock lead, John was starting to figure things out in the neutral. Finally, you know, get that momentum back into his favor. It right. was a little bit too little and too look, late for Masahiro game one. soccer ball. <laughs> Just retrain John there. All right, we got a little snake eater coming through as John's music counter. Honestly, I think John's got some fantastic music counter picks. I am going to burn the Konami headquarters down to the ground if that anniversary collection is bad. <laughs> I am not joking. Three, two, one, go! All right, coming in on game two. Small battlefield. I would honestly expect nothing less from these two players. John's favorite stage, and certainly not a bad stage for Dill. Oh, definitely not. Both of them are just so comfortable here. Remember when this game didn't have small battlefield? Dark times. Dark times for sure, but... Only John. good times here. Whoa! 
That was nearly a spike. Oh, the gyro actually eating through the sun salutation, keeping Dill safe, but she's stuck at ledge once again. Alright, does fight her way through with the high recovery and catching John air dodging in with the armor at a rear dead even game so right now. Dill not as aggressive Ooh. with those spikes as Heretta has been. Heretta would have gone for that twice. Yeah. Right, here we go. Right, utilizing the platform and the burner boost as well to keep John as far in the corner as possible. All right, John's going to have to brush up on the seat to see if they're going to even take a stock off the boss here. <laughs> I think I've already made a Shagoha joke on stream. You <laughs> can can't... do it again. I wasn't here for it. Neither were... Some people in chat, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just looking at the viewer accounts. I'm like, I think they're the same folks. <laughs> Share the stream, baby. Please. Please do. All right. Oh! John right now. The weird stuff from the gyro there. Because it actually stopped John's board smash. Double parry. Yep. Beautiful. Parry for parry. We're just trading right now. Oh! Good shield there from Bill. Yeah, Dill has just been playing so well defensively and using the down tilt to catch John running in. John finally getting a neutral win after what felt like a full minute of just Dill catching every single thing he did. It feels odd to like watch John like throw out a move and get punished for it. <laughs> yeah. Like it's very uncharacteristic. It feels like Dill is kind of forcing John to play his own usual game and, you know, making John strike first, which yeah. is usually not something he likes to do. But because Rob is so good at playing from a variety of distances, he can just be poked, you know, ad nauseum. John struggling to maintain their percentage, but you know what? They took a stock off. That's what matters at the end of the day. And, oh my gosh, that's the second time this set that that soccer ball has killed John. The soccer ball betrayal, unfortunate for John and Dill just running this clock, trying to frustrate John as it kind of took him like almost three full minutes to take stock one off of Dill. All right, but let's see here. What can John do? John just forced to make choice after choice. Yep. Dill responding in time. Wow, excellent item play there with the gyro. It feels like Dill has just really leveled up her like long range play, and that has completely shut down most of what John wants to do in this matchup. But skipping the soccer ball off of the gyro, a very stylish move from John. I mean, John, if there's one thing about numbers that John knows about, it's geometry. It, it really is. He is, you know, I call him the soccer ball scientist for a reason. Right? Him and Oblon get together in the room and just talk about strategy. That's a kill. Yep, even without the deep breathing, too. So, John now has the funny number power up. <laughs> Doesn't last too long, though. Aww. Gonna see if he can bring us to a game three or if Dill is going to 2 0 her way Ooh. into Grands. Okay, here we go. Great spot dodge there from John. What are we gonna see here? Not able to find anything out of that down throw, unfortunately. Dill on the defensive here for the first time this game. Nope. Never mind, didn't last long. Not trying to play too the aggressive. The gyro placement actually getting bounced by the soccer ball, putting it right in John's path. Whoa! Woo! That soccer ball jump scare. Right, finally getting a good sun style hit, but John just has has not been able to find a wow for 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 <laughs> to say that. It. John does indeed find a meaningful hit, especially with deep breathing, almost getting the deep breathing up air. All Dill wants and needs is a grab. Tombstone. I think we Dill might need the platform's help for the up throw to kill, oh, which John so is close. under. That could have been it. Oh, great air dodge. Get back to the ledge. Just hold shield. Waiting on the platform. John not able to capitalize on it. Okay, but that, all right, going in deep. The gyro is coming back down, but does run out of life. Whoa, Sakuba actually That's saving Dill there. Damage but. and the deep yeah. breathing forward air. What a hard fought comeback from John after what looked like Dill's game to win. I mean, honestly, just, it kept going back and forth. John on the ropes more often than not.
it's rare to see John actually force the play first. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I mean, even when he is like, obviously John doesn't like to be the one to force the issue. Yeah. But if you're giving John all of that time at long range, eventually he's going to get the download. And we did see this game going to 148 on the clock. John, John could have timed him out. He's looking around. He John could have timed her out. He, he is in <laughs> awe at the wonders of the world right now. I mean, have you seen? Can we get like the player cam over there, like where we can see all the skateboards? I mean, those are very. They're cool. so cool. Yeah, I take the time to appreciate that too. Three, two, but anyway, one, back to the go. last game here in winners finals. We don't do best out of five here. We got jobs we tomorrow. We do, in fact, have jobs tomorrow. But yeah, winner of this is going to be moving on into grands. We're going to see Whoa. right now, once again, Dill starting us off strong with the momentum. This is exactly what we saw in game one and two, which kind of means that this may still be anyone's game. I mean, 30 seconds first stock. Oh, my goodness. All right, Dill just showing off here at the top. Man, good bait there for the Sun Salutation. Ooh, finally, John being able to want... Being able to be the one to catch Dill on the come in, but not for too long. Once again, John on the back foot. All right, what are we going to see here? Dill just kind of weaving in and out, getting that gyro. Ooh, getting caught by the down tilts. Once again, Dill trying to reset that situation, put John in an uncomfortable position. I think even with deep breathing, it might be a little bit more before John is able to get a kill on this first stock. Jar is looking deep. close, though. Dill is off stage, But yes. with a return back to the ledge, neutral is reset. Oh, I like the jab grab attempt, but John's second stock is already bleeding. I know, that was close to death. Let's see here. Very smart from Dill Ooh. to actually just do the uh, the rotor arm to try and deflect the sun salutation if that was going to come. Yep, that's coverage. Oh no, Whoa. John getting kind of distracted by the gyro there on the platform. Point blank Get laser. Who does that? Finally, the dash tag putting John on the board, but 124. He's got a lot of work to put in on Dill's second stock. No, Whoa. no scoop. Whoa. John number's just a little too short for that. An anti-air, that up tilt is so active. All right, what are we going to see here? Ten numbers at 151. Dill could just get one Ooh. good edge guard. All right, not getting the neutral air. John getting reset at ledge. Once again, still had a sun salutation in the back pocket. All right, here we go. Up there. Called it. Yep, too high for the confirm, but Dill still able to get a taunting. <laughs> Let's go. I like that both Rob Taunts that we've seen tonight are the flashy eyes. I yeah. think that's that, that might be my favorite Rob Taunt. It's Sol a good one. Solidarity with the other Robs of the world. I thought Rob was the last of his kind. <laughs> Apparently not. They're manufacturing them once again. Not in New York. He's not. <laughs> he's in big supply here. Uh-oh. Here we go. Okay. There's some empty movement here around this platform. I love that Z drop out of shield. That was so clean from John. And you know, it's a nice mix up to get out of there. Oh my gosh, here Ooh. we go. Here's the damage. Oh, Ooh. trying to go so far. John to... getting out of there with his life. Only 44% extra credit. Definitely still within the realm of possibility as he gets that sun salutation. All right, Dill, obviously not going to take uh -oh. this for granted. Gonna try and build this momentum back up. John no longer Ooh. on the ropes. Nearly a lot It's an even Dylan game percentage. again. Oh, oh my gosh. John catching that gyro, no fear. And it's like, this is why you can just never count John out. Does neutral air dodge through that back air? I think that would have been the game. Still it able to close. reset the situation again. Another up air? <gasps> no way, you no. got hit by that gyro. Okay, doing it again. Nice laser. John Numbers, close to being knocked into losers. Not anymore. Deep breathing online. What a With dash. the rage. Dill shrugging her shoulders. That was absolutely her game to win. And as was game two. Yeah. But the John Numbers factor.